Uh, the next piece of theatre for you this evening is, and I don't have too much hope for it now, is uh, Marlene uh, about uh, a certain German lady. So take it away, dear guys. Thank you. that other hickey name, Ralph, since I was a youth, back in that dreary little village, Baden-Württemberg, near Essen. My only consolation in those days, to alleviate the long, endless days of yokeldom, was to dress up in my mother's high heels and dress put on her red vermilion lipstick on my rosebud lips, surreptitiously, sparingly spraying her only bottle of perfume for 7-Eleven, as Kölnisch Wasser behind my delicate earlobes, twirling and dancing in front of her long-length mirror in a little room of her boudoir, darling, singing, New York, New York. So good they named it twice. <laughs> Running down the stairs when the house was empty, to the pigs and hens outside, singing to them at the top of my voice, anything, anyone, darling, who would take notice of me. I must say they were a most appreciative audience. <laughs> Clucking, grunting, and squealing in time to my show tunes. The local country bumpkins were never quite my style. They knew I was never one of them that I just didn't fit in. So I kept myself It was inevitable that I would end up in this little cabaret club of Müllerstrasse in Berlin's red light district, appropriately called Les Boys. <laughs> <laughs> My routine is stunningly provocative, outrageous, and outlandish, darling. Oh, I do love to shock those rich old punters who come to see my show on the run from their greedy, grasping, boring wives. They come to see my show en masse with their high-class hookers in their Mercedes-Benz cars, chauffeur-driven by chauffeurs in full regalia, bankers, politicians, industrialists. The list is endless. I even had a famous plastic surgeon once who remarked on the perfect proportions of my exquisite visage. The lights lower to a mere subtle glow with a light centred on the long stage which runs in a V the length of the room. German march music blares through the speakers strategically placed. I stomp on stage in my Nazi officer's uniform, complete with black leather boots, black leather gloves, picked cap, the ubiquitous black whip. My troop of four march behind me in the soldier's uniform of the Vermacht. We stomp 
around on stage, cracking our whips, doing a little mooning to titivate the crowd. Then I throw my peaked cap into the crowd. I must say that gets a great response. Then the music reaches a crescendo as we strip down to our little leather g-strings. Then we run in line into the wings, leaving the audience breathless with awe. Yes, my dear, I certainly have found my niche. Yes, my darling,